Hello again, everybody. So today uh, we're going to be talking about if else statements and basic loops. So, what is an if else statement? So, when you're programming and you want to specify if something is true, then you want to like do this. So, for example, if like yeah, like a certain variable, and if it's like uh, greater than five, then you want to do this, this, this and something like that so let's get right to it uh, the basic syntax for creating an if else statement is just um if and then you open your um parentheses and in here we will have the condition so what a condition is is basically what we are checking to see if true so for example we have a variable here which is y equals five and in here we want to check is y equal to 5 um, we're going to be using double equal signs because we're checking to see if y is, e is equal to 5 and in order to do that we use two double equal signs so now that we have the condition uh, what we're checking to see is true we now need to put these things square brackets and now we are going to write what we want to happen if y is equal to 5. So let's say if y is equal to 5, we will write console.log just true. So in this case, if we if we if we one second uh, gotta link it to my JS file. Sorry about that. So, just like this. And whenever you're linking to your JS file, you always want to like put an alert statement or something just to make sure that it's working. And we inspect our console we should see true so the reason why it put out true is because y is equal to 5 so what if we wanted to have something happen if y is not equal to 5 so in this case there's something called an else so what else is is like in all other conditions if y is not equal to 5 we're going to write false so if it's not equal to 5 then we want to write false else uh, we can also write else if which is checking some other conditions so if y is equal to 5 we're gonna print out true um, else if and then over here we would put another um, condition if y else if y equals equals 7 then we would console.log um, y is is equal to 7 so um, if we change this to 7 oops 7 and if we reload the page we're gonna see y is equal to 7 in this case because y is equal to 7 just like over here so and else is like in all other conditions if y is not equal to 5 and if it's not equal to 7 we want to write console.log none of the above is true just like that so if like y is equal to 10 and when we reload the page we're gonna see none of the above is true because uh, y is not equal to 5 and it's not equal to 7 so that's basically it for if else statements. Um, now let's talk about while loops and for loops. So what a while loop is, is um, basically loops are if we want to do something a repeated amount of time. For example, instead of writing console.log like this uh, five times, which is very inefficient, we have something called a for loop and we can increment um, from 1 to 5 and so over here we would assign var i is equal to 0 meaning that we're gonna start from 0 and then we wanna loop through until i is greater than 5 and then we wanna increment the value of i 
one time. So now this is this is our basic for loop, and over here we want to put what we're gonna loop through and what we want to happen. Um, so this is gonna loop five times because um, i is one, i is two, i is three, i is four, and i is five because is i greater than five? Yes, it is. So it's gonna stop looping. So in this case, we can write console dot log. Uh, just uh, some stuff. This is a loop. So now if we go here and go to our console, we see this is a loop and it's written five times, just like that. So in this case, if we would do like um, document outright, this is a loop. this we see this is a loop this is a loop this is a loop five times because we're looping five times um, so yeah one more time we increment the value of I or this could be any variable to zero. Oh, over here we are specifying what we want to loop through so until I is greater than or less than or equal to whatever we want it to be equal to uh, in this case if we had like a variable I equal to like seven and we could just do until i is um, greater than uh, oops, um, x, and we'll love a c, until i is greater than c, and then we're going to loop through it um, seven times because c is equal to seven, and until i is greater than seven, we're going to loop through it. So that's basically it for a for loop. Uh, what is a while loop is is um, kind of the same thing, but uh, we just want to increment, like do the same thing, um, like uh, much easier. So like while i is greater than five, and then over here we're gonna like put what we want to happen. So like console.log, this is a statement, and then over here we would just increment the value of i. And over here, like we would have a variable i equals zero. And if we refresh the page, we're gonna get exactly the same thing because this is going to increment the value of i until i is greater than five. So it's gonna keep looping until i is greater than five. So um, that's basically it. Um, one more time, a while loop does something until a certain condition evaluates false so for example i is greater than five and um, if i becomes like six then uh, um, this is going to be false because six um, six is not um, five is not greater than six so it's gonna be false so um, for loop is basically the same thing and is going to keep repeating something until the condition evaluates to false so like we have like um, time for var i equals zero i am um, greater than six so it's gonna do what we want it to do until i is greater than or, or equal to six like we could put like this or like this equal to six so it's gonna do it until i is greater than six so that's basically it. Um, I hope you liked my tutorial. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and peace out.